today we see how to configure uh, alarms okay so what are alarms alarms means message system okay because here in scada scada they are getting a message because scada is a software right so here we get a message so in that message what message we get here we get date and time some information right location of error type of error acknowledgement status remedy okay so all this information okay we are getting here in the alarm so here what we are doing is we are configuring alarm system to the tags okay means we are having digital tags and <clears throat> and log tags that means we are having digital alarms as well as and log alarms digital alarms for like uh, pumps okay motors or any uh, problem with sensor okay any uh, <clears throat> signal if you want okay when it is sensing any uh, unwanted object okay like that <clears throat> we can generate some alarm okay some message so for analog alarms is like a, a level okay we are setting the limits here okay so like in a tank we are setting the limits low limits and higher limits okay low limits means if it is going below the limit <clears throat> when the tank is emptying right so it goes below some limit when it is going that uh, crossing the limit while draining <clears throat> we need a message okay so in that message what we have to do we have to uh, start the pump or something okay because suppose if it is crossing the limit okay at some limit we are giving some uh, signal to the pump to start in case if the pump is failed to start so what happens the uh, lowest limit will be again cross okay so we have to avoid that right so if it is not uh, st uh, starting in case the pump is not starting for the signal then manually we have to start okay so for that we need a message then only we can understand or identify right <clears throat> so like that we can set the limits for analog temperature pressure level all these things okay so we see how to configure this alarms here so i create one new window here and i rename this as alarm say so, okay So here for alarm display, we are having the window okay that is available in wizard. So go to the wizard. And this you can see alarm displays. Okay. So you can see we are having one window, discrete alarm display. Select this, okay. And put it here. <clears throat> and you can drag and expand the window. <clears throat> How much size you want that you can expand. Here you can see in this we're having date, time, status, class, type, priority, okay, name, like that. Now, <clears throat> so <clears throat> for example, I'm having any switch or button, right? Uh, where is that? Okay, from Wizard, I'll take some switches here. Switches. Take this fixer switch. Put it here. Duplicate. So these switches I'm using for generating alarms. Okay. For digital. <clears throat> and I take one slider for analog alarm. Now, I double click on the switch that is asking for the tag name, right? So I define some tag name like a uh, uh, or like fault one or error one. Okay, fault one. I'm taking say okay. So here 
you can see they're having alarms in the tag name dictionary window okay so it's a memory discrete only so select the alarm as an option you can not in the details select alarms in this you can see at bottom we are having alarm state okay we need to make it on okay alarm state on okay so it is on so for that what comment you need okay any message if you want to give like a uh, <coughs> wall one is faulty or motor <coughs> Okay, stop. Okay, not starting a pump. Not starting some message comment you can mention here. Okay, so <clears throat> alarm set off or on. So initially, when the message comes, it should be on. Okay, then save this. <clears throat> here we are having one more thing that is log data. Okay, log data means storing this alarm. Okay, message in your window. Okay, so select this log data also. Save it and close. Similarly for the second one. <clears throat> so for two, here also you can give say motor two faulty something or wall one faulty <clears throat> or wall two faulty something. Okay, log data. Save. Yes. Now this is for your digital. <clears throat> then double click on slider. So like uh, <clears throat> limit. Okay. So I'm setting the limits. So okay. Here also you can see we are having alarms option. Okay. In this. You can see we are having alarm value low, 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 high, and high, high. Okay, so you can activate these four options or any two options you need. Okay, only low and high or low, low. Low, low means the lowest. Okay, high, high means the highest. Okay, so for <coughs> draining means when it is uh, when the level is going down, I want two levels. For that, I can set low level and then low, low, lowest. Okay, whereas if the tank level is increasing and crossing the limit, so I'm having high limit plus higher than that, we are having high high limit. Okay, so for the lowest limit, like I want ten for low, I'll set for twenty. Okay, and I set the priority. Priority means preference. Okay, so first preference for this, uh, and then the second preference for this means so first preference why why I'm giving to the low. When it is reaching 20, I should do something. That's my first preference. Okay. Even if it is not uh, working, then in such case, second priority is like lowest one. Means you can stop the process or <coughs> uh, manually operate. Okay. So that that way you can select this priority. So here also I'm selecting the number two. Here for 90. This one I select for. Say 80. So here I'm setting the limits, higher limits and the lower limits. Okay. And the type I'm selecting as memory integer. And for this also you have to select log data. Now save this and close. So after this, uh, if I want to display with some Lamp. I'll take some lights here, like outside and something symbol. <clears throat> One, two, three, and four. Okay, duplicate them. Okay. <clears throat> if you want to keep in a line. Select all the four. So you can see it is showing align top, align middle, or bottom. So if I select this bottom, so all are in <coughs> same line. Okay. So for this, what tag name we are given for? 
ladder limits one. Okay. Double click on the first lamp. I'll give the name limits one dot L O L O low low. Okay, for low low status, I want to show some lamp indication. Okay, on or off. Okay, so for true green, for false red. If you want to blink also, you can select activate enable this blink. So blink rate slow, medium or fast. So for this, I will select fast. Blink when <clears throat> or limits one dot low low. Okay, say okay. Now, <clears throat> second one. Limits one dot low. For this also, I'll select enable this and slow. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just copying this. So okay. I just do L O okay. So here instead of this, I select I or is select this one control V. Or this or this I I and Faster flashing rate. If you want to give some text on this, also you can select the text. <clears throat> like uh, this is for L O L O. Next this is for for low next this is for high next is <coughs> okay now <coughs> one more thing here we need is a acknowledge button acknowledge means when the message comes we have to check the message okay for that also you can select one button okay for acknowledge. So what I do, I just move this. <clears throat> so I take one button for acknowledgement. And I rename the button. I click substitute. Substitute same as a ACK. ACK means acknowledge. Double click here under touch or push button. Go to the action. Instead of this, select our tag names like uh, uh, <clears throat> limits one. Okay, here we are having that ACK. Okay, ACK space limits one. There's a tag name of this. So, what are the messages we get for this tag? Okay, low, high, high. Okay, that message should be ACK means acknowledge. Okay, then <clears throat> what else we have to acknowledge? This switches. Okay, so ACK for that, what name we are given? Vault one. <clears throat> right, then give the Semicolon. Then under tag ACK for two semicolon. So whatever tags we are using, okay, with that we have to give this ACK. That uh, those tags we have to enter here. Okay, the list. Say okay. <clears throat> okay. Now let's see. Then save this window. 
and go to runtime and check the result. So here you can see there's not nothing here. Okay, no message. So when I make the input on, <clears throat> you get a message on date, 7 Jan, time, seven fifty seven. It is un ACK means unacknowledged. Class discrete means digital. Type is digital. Okay, priority one. Fault one is a tag name. Okay, it's a system tag because this message is generated by your system when the error is coming. Okay, so when I make the second switch on, <coughs> same way. So when I click on ACK button, see both the Messages have been acknowledged because we are given that both the tags for acknowledgement. So once I make the <coughs> inputs off, what happened? Message has gone. If the message is there, <coughs> I am I'm not acknowledging and I make this input off. <coughs> Without acknowledge, this message is gone. Okay. Yeah. when there is no message code. but that is saved okay in the database system <clears throat> now this is for digital next is for analog so when you move this slider Let me turn the uh, so, uh, save this now. it was not saved okay that's why it is not saved. see here <clears throat> so right now here the value is zero okay that's why this is low low okay which is below 10 so this lamp is flashing here you can acknowledge <clears throat> for this similarly when i move between 10 to 20 <clears throat> okay you can acknowledge that also and when i move further Okay, it's showing you the present. Okay, so this is how we can display the analog alarms also. <clears throat> okay, so this is about the alarms. So today we practice with these alarms. Okay, 